And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Shivana Lux. We just played this deck the other day, but it was pretty awesome. We went 5-0 with it, and I wanted to give another shot. So it's Rank Up Sunday, and that's usually where we play some of the decks that we've been playing uh, the best recently. Um, but today I wanted to practice some decks that I wanted to uh, perhaps maybe play in the seasonal tournament, which is going to be a week from today, next Sunday is when the open when the first round is going to start you get to pick three decks and most likely i'll be playing those first three that we played but this is another option and wanted to give this one a try i like playing unique decks that opponents won't really know what the cards are in there or what to really expect from them and that's certainly what this deck is this is definitely a unique deck that uh, people won't really know what to expect from us they'll see shivana and lux for our champions with Shadow Isles as our other regions. Maybe they're not going to be expecting Curse Keeper, Blighted Caretaker combo, um, or anything like that. Um, this is it's a deck that looks kind of strange and um, you know has a bunch of strange cards in it that you wouldn't really think go together, but it plays pretty well. Um, that's what we've kind of learned from here. So you have like your Egghead Researcher, you have a good card advantage. So you have your Egghead Researcher, Unspeakable Horror that help create. Um, other cards for you and then uh, of course you have Lux you know getting your your final sparks um, Lux is just a really powerful card it's just a, a really good solid deck so enough talking about it let's go uh, see it in action we're gonna go play uh, five games and let's practice so much Shivana Lux let's see how this deck does okay Tarek Darius not Tarek sorry Draven Draven Darius uh, we do need to... Ooh, Judgment could be good. Do need to worry about Decisive Maneuver. It's a card they're going to have. Hmm. I guess I'll mulligan the Judgment for now. So we got some Egghead Researchers to do some blocking and find some Dragons for us. Let's go play Remembrance next turn. Kinda wish I had that judgment now with like this other stuff that we've drawn. A scout. So they could definitely have Pill Cascade. Iron Ballista. And just try to take out this iron ballista right now. Cool. I have the best job. It's Draven time. Gonna go ahead and just play this Curse Keeper and then draw two. So basically, we just played four mana, four three plus draw two. Not bad. Not bad at all. We will not suffer unbelievers. They will not escape. So Lux is pretty nice to play, but that does basically tap me out. <clears throat> Shivana. I just wish I had one more mana. I wish I could play Shivana and then still keep up two of these spells. So maybe it's just Egghead Researcher and then I can keep up multiple spells. With a little time, I'll have a breakthrough. Maybe Yellow Fox is pretty cool. Pell Cascade is kind of a problem. Yeah, they had it. It's 
nice. thing now. Not the worst thing. Yeah, seven, eight mana. Yeah, Radiant Guardian could be nice. We have a lot a lot of pretty good options, but um, a lot of good expensive options. Cadrogen. None shall oppose me. It would probably be better to have Lux in play before I'm doing this. But, so I have to play, like, that's the only card I can play to get the Nightfall turned on. thing in 9-6. 9-6 is pretty big. Ooh, taking it down to 5. I'm going to go with the Shivana, which is also 5 power. Alright, that should kill them. We have the two lethal attackers. You cannot sway. The old egghead researcher challenger. Alright, GG's. And and win. Alright, playing against the Gohard deck. Uh I don't know exactly what rank we we are. We were like sixty something. I think we were like 67 before I start before that last game. Okay, so go hard deck. I think Unspeakable Horror should be just fine in this matchup. Um, maybe I mulligan Lux because that's an expensive card, but I don't know. Lux is just awesome. Let's keep Lux. Lux is awesome. Hey, you don't want to go hard, my curse keeper? They should go hard the curse keeper. Cygnus. We can have some elusive dragons. Later, that could be pretty cool. Yeah, elusive dragons could be pretty cool. I am watching you, dragon. I'll make corpses of them all. Hmm. Oh, he's gonna be so happy. Troy won't do any good. 
Alright, we'll trade our four mana champion for their five mana champion. Very reasonable trade. Also makes me not so not as bad against Ruination if we want to play another threat. Basically, a uh, oh, yes. it's basically a vengeance. If they spent seven mana, they just got a two-two as well. It just, but then you know, it's two cards. Also, I should be using this Unspeakable Horror right now. Wait for, like, Powder Keg or something. About not attacking, okay. That'll be some good overwhelm. Planning having vengeance for the gangplank. Besides Twisted Fate, there's not really much else. Okay, so that's one Ruination. They probably only have one Ruination in their deck, right? There's probably not another Ruination in there. Go hard they have is pack your bags. Ledros. your bags from killing me. You could single combat Remembrance try to hit Radiant Guardian, but that plan's not any good against Ledros. Don't really have a good plan against Ledros right now. I mean, I don't I don't have the mana for single combat Remembrance Elusive. Like, I don't, I can't cast that stuff. That's, I can't even, I can't cast these two together. Let's get to it. This is my 
choice. Never back down from what you believe. I mean, we are dead to pack your bags, and we know that they have pack your bags, so this game's over. <clears throat> Ledros was different, that just took away my entire life total. I think what I need to do differently there is like way a long time ago, like turn five, I need to like not trade my ship my Shivana and their Gangplank, I think, me holding the repose. I think that's where I started. Like, I, I should have... I think I need to protect Shivana. Yeah, I need to use those repose earlier. Okay. Least favorite kind of deck. Targon, Invoke. These games always take 30 minutes. With a little time, I'll have a break. I'll follow where I can. Bless the faithful and fear the heretics. I will be heard. Okay. That's fine with me. I am Targon's daughter who will unite the heavens. Unity is not conquest, Leona. Yeah, that could have been a good idea there, Choo Choo, instead of the judgment, use repost and single combat and take out some things there. Yeah, that could have been a good idea. I know these paths well. game taking 30 minutes though. Alright, they can't obliterate. I wanted to go to combat first because of the six mana obliterate card. I'm not really that, like this deck doesn't play very many nightfall cards at all. It's, it's mostly all like daybreak and invoke, so I'm not, I'm not really worried about this Diana right now. You know, with, with me having like all these screeching dragons in hand and everything, not too worried about it. Okay, so that's gonna do that. And then these will all grow. I think it's plus three, plus three. Oh, because it does the, the, the extra daybreak. So I'm killing this 2 2 because Pale Cat. So Pale Cascade doesn't kill my Lux, one. And two. Um, I'm keeping Diana. Diana's the same, but I'm keeping Diana alive because Diana's a 4 4 as, com as a. You know, compared to these other things where Diana will die to the uh, final spark. 
I guess Pale Cascade would save Diana. No, I, I have I have unspeakable horror, so no, I wouldn't. By the light. Follow the horizon. Not the egg. On to four. Here too. So Shivana will make these straight strafing strikes. Okay, maybe not. With the Shivana make the strafing strike thing. Maybe not. Lux at five. And get rid of that before they just start, before they play another Daybreak card and stun. Go, dragons, go. We know, we know that they have an Invoke card that costs three or less. That's one of their cards. I'm keeping single combat available. Challenge. Hush. Okay. All right, they're down to two. Eclipse Dragon. The problem with this is another hush, right? Like if I go strafing strike and they play another hush. Oh, I guess I should have, oh, I should fight first and then do the the final spark, right? I, I should have just fought with like the screech. Yeah, I could have just killed them with that final spark. My bad. Yeah, my bad. They've already played two hush. Cool. Not another one. I should have done that first and then the final spark. Wrong order. Our sun will not set today. Wrong order. Alright, GG's. Won't let them have another daybreak card. Oh, same opponent. Same match. I'm not sure about Vengeance. I think I'm gonna mulligan Vengeance, but I don't know. I don't know. We could see keeping Vengeance. Vengeance is cool. You know, like, we, 
have a Lux in play, then cast a Vengeance, it can kill something and give us a final spark. Like, that's, that's a good combination. Vengeance is not a keep. I should have mulliganed it. Okay. Unyielding light. Well, definitely withdrawing single combat, single combat, concerted strike. <laughs> I think that we have a good amount of removal over here. Devotion through battle! Scorching light! I don't like that card. I know these paths well. I don't want their things costing less mana. Okay, so they have Hell Cascade. Good to know. Harvey's back there rolling around. Let's just do this. Let's just use all of our mana with that. And, you know, next turn, Blighted Caretaker, the Cursed Keeper. Sunlight glides. I'm down to 11. Devotion through battle! They, they do a great job of drawing Leona. The divine power of the sun. Do a great job of drawing Leona. Behold the sun's holy light. Attack. I'm gonna bank some mana. I know we could play the Egghead Researcher, but I want to bank some mana. We chart our path by the stars. Everywhere I go. I hope they don't have six mana obliterate. It's not super likely, because you know they didn't play Solari Priestess. Kimble and quick the trickster is. Okay, we can kill that thing. This is bad against two Pale Cascades. We have one covered. You could definitely tell they had one Pale Cascade. Oh, they just drew that card. That means they probably have two, because I think that one of these other cards is a Pale Cascade. Uh, yeah, they had two. Ouch. Yeah, they just drew that other one. Ouch. Well, that's going to hurt. Now they got the third Mountain Scryer. That's pretty awesome. Know your path for the mountain changes. Exercise caution. We will resist. That was a good block for me. Happy with that block. We got a Mountain Scryer out of here. To, so if they had a five mana invoke, they don't get to play it. I've been hiding my life now we'll have the final spark take down the elusive. Okay, not 
quite. A beacon through the dark. Okay, so we have to vengeance this thing. And we'll throw this in front, which would turn that into being four health for the final spark to take down. Definitely thought about, you know, just going Glimpse Beyond instead of doing this, and then using Final Spark on Mountain Scryer. No, maybe that would have been better. No more holding back. I do kind of like how Glimpse Beyond can help turn on Radiant Guardian as well. The charger chases stars across the sky. Eclipse Dragon, that card's cool. Okay, okay. So we're gonna go on Radiant Guardian. Oh yeah, you're at zero. I'll protect you. Good card. Justice will be Unspeakable horror can kill the Eclipse Dragon. All right, looks like they got this one now. Need to draw a fight spell to go along with this Radiant Guardian. Glorious light rains down. GG's. Uh, I killed the thing with Overwhelm, because the other thing was going to be a 6 power Overwhelm where Eclipse Dragon doesn't have Overwhelm. No, this was our fourth game. They forced us to choose death or the blade. Find your path <clears throat> in the dark and follow me. Yeah, they had, yeah, they did have the, the three Bell Cascade. I think they only had two Leona, I think, it wasn't all three, but yeah, the, the Delta, the, all those Pill Cascades were a killer, and then obviously the, the um, 15 mana spell Skies Descend, but I didn't expect another. Tom Kench Soraka doesn't feel like an Egghead Researcher Blighted Caretaker matchup. Does it? Like, so, I mean, well, Egghead Researcher we're going to be keeping, but Caretaker? Mm, I don't know. It's still Caretaker. I mean, I'll try it. AZ7 Moon. Yeah, everything's going good. Happy Sunday. So, obviously, hindsight, how it played out, yes, I, um, you know, we could have done, you know, Wish I would have waited on the vengeance, but I think if I was in that same spot again, I don't think I would wait on the vengeance. It's just you know, hind hindsight how the game played out. Caring for the stars shows their true potential. I can't wait to see them when they're all grown up.
So they go Astral Protection. I don't know if this attack's worth it. Does that get them a lot of healing towards Starspring? Probably not worth it. The Star Chuck. I'll clear a path. Elites aren't great, but they're probably a little viable in ranked. Like they're you could you could play elites in ranked, but they're not amazing. Yeah, I definitely really like getting the mind splitter. Man, I hate that card. Let's go, Osu. Shakedown card. It's so good. See how this does. There's oh, astral protection. Stand back. Hmm. Protection card's pretty good. to one also. No! That was the only card I didn't want them to have. Because that also means I don't create my final spark. Out. That could definitely be the turning point in this game. Alive now. If I kill you, I don't fart you. Yeah, that was perfect for them. 9, 10, 11. Yeah, that was perfect for them. Looks pretty bleak now. Be good. I my own. 
to heal and protect. I'll leave that first part to you, Sonata. So I'm going to be planning on single combat the Soraka. <clears throat> Which is why I stunned the two other things, not the Soraka. Cool. So they don't get to draw a card. Okay. We have a pretty decent shot. So they have two blockers. I guess I gotta do 20 damage though. I guess that's not easy to do 20 damage. Okay, maybe that's not so easy to do 20 damage. Fire and fury burn in me. I mean, I can't really just like open attack because then I can't let the broadback protector kill me. So I can't. I have to kill them in one shot. I can't just like do a little bit of damage to them. Look lively, soldier. Thomas. I see face in your future. The sun is shining. We should too. Stand back. I'm sure there's something for my tastes. Darn. Need another spell. So Thomas can eat Lux. Doing that thing. So right now they can only heal two. Okay, let's see. So if I go to attacks, so this doesn't kill me right now. So I can. So if I go to attacks, do I kill them? So they would block the 9-7, block this, they would take 5, 10, 15, 19, and then Doom Beast finish it off. Because the pro basically what I'm worried let's see, what am I worried about here with targeting the Tom Kench? I guess there really shouldn't be No, yeah, because no, because if they have if this is guiding touch, I lose. If I target Tom Kench and it's guiding touch, I lose. And if I target here, kind of the same thing with the Fortune Croaker. That puts him at 21. I can't. I just can't let you know if it's like astral protection and I target oh, fortune croaker. This. Oh wait. This, yeah, because the Shivana's gonna level up also. So this should just be lethal. Should be lethal. All right, GG's. Yeah, the Vengeance was my best top deck also because it could kill a damaged unit. So that was my best draw. <clears throat> but we got him. Man, that was close. It's so, like, the game you have to play against that kind of deck is so weird. So there we go. There's Shivana Lux. We ended up going at three and two. Didn't necessarily have the best of luck in a couple of our losses, but um, I was impressed with the deck. I think it, it played very well. You know, we did lose, like, we went one and one against the Targon deck, but that's probably a deck that I'd be banning, so wouldn't really have to worry that much about that kind of deck. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I like this deck. I think it has a lot of power and everything, and I don't know. You know, I it, yeah, I don't know. It could be a good one to play. You can do some cool stuff, you know, like with your Radiant Guardian and fight spells. And then, you know, you can have Remembrance at Radiant Guardian sometimes. You can get some good stuff against aggro like that. And you have, like, Judgment, which is awesome against the aggro decks. Um, and uh, even against, like, the Mistwraith decks, you know, like you have your Blighted Caretaker Curse Keeper combo. They can just mow down, you know, a couple of Mistwraiths. Or, like, the 2-mana 3-2 Fearsome, like that kind of stuff. You can kill a couple of those with some Saplings and have a 4-3 left. Pretty cool little deck here. Something something different. 
Um, yeah, drawing drawing three of the Curse Keepers was was very clunky. That's like the first time that that's really happened against that that Go Hard deck. I I think that overall I think Go Hard's a pretty good matchup, but yeah, we we just kind of had all Curse Keepers and everything in that. And uh, um, yeah, I don't I don't think I made the best decisions in that that matchup either. That's uh, but that's that's one that I'm I'm usually pretty confident in winning with this deck, but we didn't last time. All right, anyway, that's Shivana Lux. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and uh, feel free to leave those comments as well. Let me know what you think of the deck. Uh, what do you think I should play for the seasonal tournament coming up? Uh, yeah, I'd love to see those comments. So let me know what you think. All right, but anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. So I'm Shivana Lux and I'll see you for the next video.